you're all doing well out there. Welcome. Nice fall day here in the Midwest. I thought I'd talk about some music before the Bears play. I made this uh, tie-dye shirt not too long ago. It's supposed to be orange and blue for Bears colors, but I had never really tie Actually, my wife did it. We had never really done tie-dyeing before. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, in the background, what I'm listening to today, and what I have been listening to for the last few days is, I'm going to try to pronounce it, Off Jeg Drummer Migdod by the band Afsky, A-F-S-K-Y, out on Vendetta Records, I believe. Yep. Um, these boys are out of, yeah, Denmark. Um, this is becoming a, a great um, earworm for me. Um, these, some of these riffs are playing over and over in my, my head, even when I'm not listening to it. And on that cover art, you can just kind of feel the, the pain of the, the lady there who has apparently just lost a, <clears throat> a spouse or a maybe a, a father, and you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere. You can just see her kind of screaming there. You can kind of feel that emotion in this release. Melodic uh, black metal. Um, great stuff so far. I'll probably be doing a full review on that in the coming um, weeks. Uh, I'm just going to talk through a few things I've gotten um, in not too, I would say in the last two to three weeks, probably, maybe longer. <clears throat> kind of losing track with, um, I'm on COVID time now, so the days run together. But um, Sing It Again, Rod by Rod Stewart. Um, got this in a antique store when I was with my wife um, on, a, on a whim. It came out in 1973. Um, this is kind of a greatest hits um, type record. It's got, you know, Maggie Mae. Everyone knows that song. Um, Handbags and Blood Rags. Um, Mandolin Wind. It's got some covers. Um, Street Fighting Man. Pinball Wizard. Um, Twist of the Night Away. Kind of, yeah, whatever. But um, Rod Stewart's vocals um, back in this time period were very strong. Um, I didn't. I kind of wrote Rod Stewart off because um, when I discovered Rod Stewart, it was in the '80s. You know, when he was doing Downtown Train, um, Tom Waits cover, <clears throat> and some other stuff, which I wasn't a huge um, fan of at the time. But I've grown to respect his um, his vocal style, especially when you go back in time. So um, if you're a fan of the strong, raspy Rod Stewart vocals, uh, go check him out. Um, next up, this came out on, um, that came out on, I think, Mercury, major labels, does anyone care really, this came out on Geffen. Um, this is um, Standing Hampton, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies. Um, their farmers are pulling up their corn right now, so bear with me. Um, Sammy Hagar, I guess the, the sun just went away too. Um, this is a, um, I'm not a huge Hagar fan, I like his solo stuff better than um, Van Hagar when he was with Van Halen. I don't know what it was about those two bands being together. It just, um, it didn't do much for me. There was some catchy stuff, but overall, I was not a huge fan. But um, this has um, I'll Fall in Love Again, um, There's Only One Way to Rock, Heavy Metal, um, Peace of My Heart, all great, great songs. Um, just if you're a fan of some classic um, hard rock, um, you can do no wrong with Solo Hagar. Um, next up, we have a Los Angeles-based band. This came out on Pulverized Records uh, through A Warrant of Shadow by the band Azath. Great artwork here, by the way, if you get real close to some of the, the detail in this artwork uh, is um, outstanding. Um, I, I encourage you all, if you buy physical media at all, um, especially metal, take a take a hard look at some of the artwork and the amount of detail that's in um, every inch of it. It's it's pretty impressive. Um, this is a band from Los Angeles, California. Um, this is pretty much straight up death metal, 11 songs, three to four minutes each, catchy, short and sweet to the point. I've been saying that a lot with my metal lately, but um, some of these 15 minute song, 15 minute long songs are just um, getting to me. A little too much for me to digest right now. Um, I've been gear, I've been uh, gravitating more towards some short and sweet death metal, so um, check out Azath if you get a spare moment. Um, next up, this is kind of a cool release. I bought on a whim, I think, Mike 
Sea Town mentioned this band. Um, this is um, Nair Dolk out of, I believe, Denmark. Could be wrong, but now they're Denmark. And um, this is Innebrant, I believe. That's them. You'll notice the, the cover and the dude in the band, same mask. Um, that is what he wears on stage as well, two piece. Um, this is kind of dirty punk, black and roll type stuff. Um, got a real strong punk edge to it. Um, it's not, um, the songs are short and sweet. It's not overly catchy, um, but it's just kind of dirty, nasty um, rock and roll punk music. Um, the other cool thing that came with it, and this this came with it, and um, <clears throat> some of you might know what this looks like if you if this was in your car and you were pulled over, the police may um, have a couple questions for you. But it was taped to the cover, and I didn't know if it was a, a mistake or some weird padding thing, but I thankfully unrolled it. And it's, uh, it says, hi, Sean, thanks for the support. Dolkian, that's um, a member of the band, so they wrote a, a handwritten note and, and looked the edges and included it with the release. I thought that was a nice touch, pretty cool. Um, nothing outstanding to see uh, with the vinyl, black vinyl. Um, comes with a poster, so it looks like this. Um, but yeah, check out if you want some nasty black and roll punk with a punk attitude. Check out Nair Dolk. And the last one is a split release. Um, Wolf slash, um, what was the name of the other site? Ostomatos um, by Kralis and Grayon. Um, the Grayon side, I was not a huge fan of. I bought this primarily for Kralis. Um, this was part of the, um, the Gilead Media um, subscription release. I, I signed up for that uh, last year, so you pay a, a flat fee and you get all the releases for the year uh, on vinyl. So that was part of this. Um, this uh, gray on side just felt very disjointed uh, and one dimensional. Um, I didn't really get into that side, but the Kralis side uh, out of New York, I've been a huge fan of them for many, many years. I think I own all of their releases to date, except for the new one. I have not pre-ordered that yet. It just came out or is gonna be coming out later this year. Um, these guys are kind of psychedelic black metal, um, and by psychedelic I mean kind of not really psychedelic like Aranzi Pazuzu, but more of a, maybe more technical death metal is the way I should describe it. Um, the songwriting will feel all over the place the first time you listen to it, and then <clears throat> as you dig deeper and listen to it more and more, you start to understand the song structures and figure out where all the where the song is going, or the songs, I should say. So, and this is only EP, so there's, uh, I think it's five songs, maybe four, or five, five songs. <clears throat> Each song is, you know, three to five minutes long. I think there's one small instrumental in here, so it's technically four songs, but um, huge fan of Kralis. Uh, I'll try to link a lot of their stuff below, including a link to this. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with Kralis. <clears throat> they always end up in your end list, too. So um, apologies for all the coffee and the sniffling. It's fucking harvest season in the Midwest. Um, but that's it for now. I'm going to do a couple more videos here today, probably. And I started going through my t-shirts. I'm debating on whether or not I should keep them or put them on eBay. I'm probably going to talk about them first, though. Um, I've got t-shirts going back decades so I might um, talk about those and where I got them and potentially put them on eBay I'm just getting to the point in my life where I got I've got stuff and boxes and what that's sitting in my basement and if I can sell it for a little bit of money um, why not just give somebody that's gonna appreciate it it's not doing anybody any good sitting in a box so <clears throat> look for those videos to come um, so thanks for checking out guys um, and I will catch you all soon